Growing season is upon us, and we're so excited to enjoy fresh ingredients this season, but we need a little inspiration on how to use them. Here with cocktails inspired by what's growing in your garden is the founder of wine tasting and events company, The Wine Sisters, Erin Henderson. Welcome back to the show. Hello, ladies. It's been a while. It's been a while. I'm so happy to be back. Okay, Erin, tell us why we should level up our drinks with seasonal uh, ingredients from our garden. Okay, so I've got the best news. I, for the first time in my life, started a vegetable garden this year. Oh. I am so excited. We'll see what the bounty yeah. brings. You know, it's still early days, but I just think there's something so cool about going to your backyard or your back balcony, picking what you want, and then making a cocktail of it. If my black, if my green th thumbs turn to black thumbs, then I, there's always the farmer's yeah, yeah, market. Exactly. But, yeah. You know, that's that's the going, that's the inspiration. There's just so much great stuff this time of year. Stop. And everything is looking incredible. I can't wait to get to all all of these cocktails. First one you have for us is a twist on a Tom Collins. Yes. So walk us through how to make okay. it. Okay, so you guys probably know Tom Collins, the classic drink, lemon, gin, a little bit of seltzer, some sugar. We're gonna up the ante a little bit with something called a strawberry shrub. Okay. It is so good, it's strawberry season. Okay. So into your tall highball glass that's filled with mm -hmm. ice, I want you to add in your gin. We're using Dillon's, this is based in Niagara, so keeping with oh, that wow. local Very thing. Cool. You just got some right yep. here. Yep. Great. Okay, add in a good two ounces of your gin. Okay. Put that right in there, and then what you're going to add in is half an ounce mm -hmm. of simple syrup. And by the way, you don't have to panic. All of these recipes are on the website, so. Half an ounce of just a little bit I of that, that guy. I think that one's your soda, actually. Oh, sorry, Dan. Go with <laughs> oh, it's already measured. Go. Yeah, there we go, <laughs> the half go. ounce of simple syrup. Okay. And it goes. Great. Now the piece de resistance. This is your strawberry shrub, this beautiful red mm. concoction. Dump that in. All of it. All of it. Okay. And then top it up with a little bit of soda, whatever you can top it up with. Give okay. it a stir and let me know what you think. Okay. Strawberry. Oh, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna decorate it. Yeah, a little decorate bit. it. Throw decorate in a little... it with a little baby strawberry. Cute. You can use your straw if you want, because that's even more cute. Oh, I just went right in for it. Just go um, for it. It's so good. Ooh. Oh my goodness. Okay. That's delightful. Delicious, delightful, so refreshing. Um, apparently shrubs have been around for a long time, but I haven't had the chance to, to make them myself. So what, talk about shrubs. Shrubs yeah. have been around since the Babylonian time. Holy. So yeah, a really long time. So there's history here. So yeah. this is educational drinking. Loved it. Love it. So, you know, people couldn't always drink water. They needed to fortify it. And so this is just a mixture of a plant, in this case, strawberry, mm -hmm. sugar, and vinegar. So all I did is I poured simple syrup, warm simple syrup over strawberries, added in some vinegar, let it macerate for eight hours. Simple. And that allows so it to last a little longer, right? Because yeah. of the vinegar, so it stays, and it's really fresh. And oh. I even will just sip this at my desk with a little bit of sparkling water. It's what a oh, great I love idea. That. It's delicious. Um, okay, so you've also brought us some margaritas to sip on, but uh -huh. these are a little bit different from the original. Tell okay. us about that. So you guys know I love me as a margarita. Mm -hmm. You know, classics are great, but let's up the ante again, right? Like, let's do a little twist. Mm -hmm. Pineapple jalapeno, anyone? Oh. Okay. Yeah, oh. so I think just on yours, I went a little heavy on the salt rimmer, so sorry <laughs> about that. That one, but you know, whatever you like. Uh, I infused some tequila. Tromba tequila is what we're using. So again, a little bit more local. Is it too spicy or too salty? I did go a little I got bit. a lot of salt. I got, I got a little excited, got a little excited, but it's infused tequila. We've infused it with jalapeno, pineapple, a little bit of bell pepper for more of a green note. Oh. I've also infused, yeah. It actually what a great really well. idea! Because too much jalapeno just makes it spicy and you don't get that green. But if you throw in some bell pepper, you get that verdant note. So it's it, really it's good. Not, I, I would have thought this would have been really, really gross. And it's not at all. No, just the idea of a jalapeno in a sweet drink. I would but never do you wrong. Thank you. Bless you. It's very, very good. Oh my goodness. Erin, for those who want to host a summer party but don't want to spend all day prepping and in the garden, oh, what would you say is the perfect drink to impress their guests? Okay, well this has got me written all over it because it is super, super simple. We're doing mm. a basil lemon cello spritz. Okay. Oh, that sounds delightful. It is, and you've spent some time in Verona, right? Mm -hmm. You've spent some time in the Veneto. Spritzes are all the rage. We got this nice little twist happening. So everybody has a friend or a relative who's come back from Italy, given them some limoncello in that boot bottle, and you're, yeah. like, <laughs> you're like, what do I do with this? Yeah, This is what you do with it. Okay. So into your goblet that's filled with ice, mm -hmm. pour in two ounces of limoncello liqueur. So this is, yep. That's, right. uh, that's actually your lemon nope. juice. Okay, we're gonna go with this one. I got it, I yeah, got there it, I got you it, go. I got it. So this is a I little bit of a sweet liqueur. Okay. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna tart it up a little bit mm -hmm. with now a whole squeeze of lemon. That's Love right it. in there. And we're gonna use a really nice vodka just to fortify it a little bit. We're gonna use a little Chopin. We're gonna use one ounce. Great. Put it in there. Done. There we are. Yep. Now guys, you've got some Prosecco in front oh. of you. Prosecco also comes from the Veneto. So top that up to your little heart's content. Take a good plumage of 
basil okay. whenever you're ready. Love the word plumage. Love yeah, the plumage. I do shoot. There, yes. you got to stir. No, plume it right in there because you're going to use this as your stir oh, stick. And you're oh. going to be able to stir. Smack it, smack it. Get smack that it, stuff it, out. Smack yeah, it, yeah, right yeah. Yet. Smack it. Get that and in there. Smack it good. In there. Okay. Okay, That's we're in. getting really okay. You're Great. Going crazy. <laughs> you can throw. Leave it in. Leave put it in. in a lemon, put in a lemon wheel. Okay. And yes. now you sip it and you're going to get those beautiful lemony, basil-y. Yeah, don't stab yourself in the nose. That's all less right. sexy. But mm -hmm. this is lovely. This might be my new summer spritz. I drink it all summer long. I love it. I didn't think I'd like limoncello. Oh, no. But now you've now, got a little bit of a bounce. I love this. My dad always tries to pull out a limoncello bottle whenever I'm there. And I can't stand it in any other yeah. way than this now. This it's is great. really Wonderful. good. Exactly. Yeah. I also love something that could be made with or without alcohol. And you mm -hmm. say you have just the drink. Tell oh, I most do. One. Check out this beautiful crimson pitcher right in front of you. This is a watermelon mint daiquiri. Oh. So, of course, daiquiris are made with rum. I was lucky enough to spend the month in, of February in Nicaragua, but we have people who don't drink. So you can make this with a watermelon puree, some mint, and you can leave the rum out for those of you who are not mm. going to be drinking. But check this out this. This smells so good. Isn't it great? I want to use mint in everything these days. Oh, yeah. yeah. And it grows like crazy, so it yeah. makes you feel really confident as a gardener. So if you, you know, can't really do it. Oh, my God, I Jill. would never guess. We go, this is lovely. This is, and you we know what? We were trying it before the show, and everybody was enjoying it. That's I, why the camera work is so good right now. This is so great, because once you get an, um, uh, a watermelon, a lot of times you're like, uh, you know, I, do I have to eat all this? One, you know, like, yeah. so other options. So good. Yeah, Aaron. throw it in a blender, strain it out. Perfect. Beautiful. Wow, Erin, thank you so much for preparing us these fresh soft soaps. I feel like summer just got a little better. Thanks for watching. We've got lots more discussion and debates on everything from food and fashion to pop culture and current events. Don't forget to click like and subscribe.